Thank you, Helen. This weekend, dive into history with a hands-on event at the Wrightsville Beach Museum of History. I'm here with Joshua Cole. Joshua, thanks for getting up so early to be with us this morning. No, no problem. So tell me a little bit about this event that's happening this weekend. It's uh, If you have a fascination about Civil War and shipwrecks, uh, this is the place you need to come, right? Yeah, so we're really excited. This is the first and what we hope will be an ongoing series of um, lectures and different kind of uh, living history events that focus and highlight our um, uh, local uh, coastal history, essentially. So I understand we have more shipwrecks or off of our coast than anywhere else, is that correct? It, well, yeah, from different periods. I mean, we have one of the highest concentration of shipwrecks around the Frying Pan Shoals in the Lower Cape uh, Fear, really definitely in North America and one of in the world. And I mean, pretty much as soon as Europeans started sailing here, they started wrecking here. And for folks that may be new to the area, um, it, primarily because of Fort Fisher, right? We had a lot of Lockheed runners, right? Well, we have a lot from the Civil War because of that, but we have a lot of wrecks from World War II, from the colonial era, from the whole period, just because this area is named Cape Fear for a reason. The waters off this uh, coast here are some of the most dangerous in North America. Now, we were talking earlier about uh, Wrightsville Beach Museum has one building that has the museum, but you've recently uh, acquired another building and you plan to use that, I guess, for more of these types of seminars. And exactly, and that's what's prompting this uh, series starting. Uh, we're really excited to start with uh, this um, lecture on the blockade runners, and we're really gearing this towards um, families, all ages, and we hope to do, like I said, a lot of these in the future. Okay, so the program again will be at Wrightsville Beach Museum, and that's on Wrightsville Beach, right? Yes, it is. We're actually going to be using the um, uh, North Carolina Coastal Federation building, which is right across the street, so it's not a, uh, it's right across the parking lot, so it's not a big uh, journey. We, our new building isn't quite open yet, so this is really leading up to that. And it will be this Saturday from 3 to 4, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. And what's the cost? It's free. Okay. Yeah, this program is uh, provided generously from the combination of our uh, museum members and as well as uh, a grant from the Eshelman Foundation, which is helping us do um, children's programming and other family-oriented programming. And that's really the goal for this is to uh, have much more inclusive whole family activities. And you'll have artifacts and other things to make it more interesting, exactly, right? Exactly, yeah. And so um, John Morris uh, from North Carolina Coast on Water Archaeology is bringing in some artifacts from modern Greece, which is sort of the blockade runner that started all this. All right. Well, Joshua Cole, again, thank you so much for being with us from the Wrightsville Beach Museum. Hope you can get the chance to go out and enjoy this. Now, if you have a community event or nonprofit you want to share with our viewers, let us know. Email newsroom at www.ytv3.com to get more information on scheduling an interview for Good Morning Carolina. We'll be right back.